Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm looking at some of my marine reptiles. This is Coelacanth. It lived on the bottom of the ocean. Its name means hollow spine. Its backbone is made of cartilage, yet it has a bony head, teeth and scales. It is a carnivore and has rows of teeth in its mouth. Its four muscular limb-like fins under the body can be used like legs to support itself in the water. Liopleurodon was a type of pliosaur, a very powerful swimmer with four paddle-shaped limbs. It had a nine foot long mouth with very long needle sharp teeth growing up to four inches long. It also could smell under the water. Anistrophius was 20 feet long, including a 10 foot neck. It could stand on the shore, but it needed water to help support the weight of its long neck and tail. It mainly walked on the seabed because it was not a good swimmer. It would sneak its head into a shoal of fish and quickly catch its prey. Can you tell me what the closest relative of Mosasaurus is? Is it modern day snakes or dolphins? Theosaurus was a strong swimmer and surfaced to breathe air through nostrils near the top of the snout. They had sharp teeth and strong jaws and big eyes. It had four crescent shaped fins, a dorsal fin and a fish like tail. They ate fish and octopus. Elasmosaurus had a very long neck with four paddle shaped flippers, a tiny head with sharp teeth and strong jaws and a pointed tail. It could grow to 46 feet in length, although half of that was neck. Atenborosaurus grew to about 16 feet. Its diet was mainly fish and other sea animals. It had an extremely long neck. It only had a few large teeth, which were used for chomping down on fish. It is a plesiosaur. Elasmosaurus lived in the ocean and breathed air. It was a slow swimmer, using its flippers much like a turtle. It ate fish and other swimming animals. Plesiosaurus means near lizard. They use their teeth to catch fish and small marine animals. The neck is quite stiff. Its very strong jaws could also be used to attack other large predators. Liopleurodon could grow to 19 feet in length and weigh up to 3 tons. It caught its prey with its long sharp teeth. The skull was 10 feet long. Roma Laosaurus could grow to 20 feet in length. It ate fish, squid and other aquatic reptiles. It had a large head numerous sharp teeth. It is a pliosaur and had a good sense of smell. Hydrotherosaurus grew to about 40 feet in length and could weigh 10 tons. It had an exceptionally long flexible neck and a small head. It fed by moving along the ocean floor and using its long neck to look for food. Mosasaurus had a hinged lower jaw that allowed it to swallow prey larger than its head. Its sharp backward pointing teeth on the roof of its mouth 
help force prey down its throat. Tylosaurus means swollen lizard, referring to its shape. It was a mosasaur and ate fish and other swimming animals. It used its powerful streamlined body to go through the water using its four paddle-like limbs. Tylosaurus was not a fast swimmer, so it would stalk its prey and then use a sudden burst of speed to catch and kill the prey. Talosaurus was the longest mosasaur, however, Mosasaurus was heavier. Talosaurus had a large head with many teeth, which were used for hunting fish, turtles, mollusks, and shellfish. Temnodontosaurus, platyodon birthing. It was an ichthyosaur. It would hunt other marine reptiles in the shallow seas. It had massive eyes growing up to 10 inches in diameter. It could grow to a length of 30 feet and had a long snout. And you can see the baby there. Megalodon means giant tooth. Its teeth could grow to 7 inches in length. It was very long, growing up to 40 feet. It mainly ate whales. Megalodon's jaw could open to 6 feet wide and 7 feet high. Notice all the rows of teeth. Cronosaurus was a short-necked plesiosaur, growing up to 30 feet long. They lived in the ocean and breathed air. Their strong teeth and jaws could crush shells and tear through squids and octopus. It swam with its flippers, much like a turtle. Pliosaurus was a meat-eating reptile. Mosasaurus was their greatest enemy. They breathe air through their nostrils on the upper front of the head by surfacing. It has a very soft hide. Mosasaurus was made popular by the Jurassic World movie. It had two extra rows of teeth in its mouth. Its closest living relatives today are snakes and monitor lizards. Dunkleosteus was a heavily armoured fish. It could grow to 11 and a half feet in length and had a large scissor-like cutting jaw with serrated, razor-sharp bones but no teeth. Its skull was over two feet in length and it had a jointed neck, an eel-like tail, no scales but a type of armour made of hinged body shields.
Thank you for watching. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.